Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2021. This is the 2022 range from Frankia. This vehicle in front of me will cost 206 thousand euros well 206,323 to be precise it has 47,000 almost euros of extras on it it is in length 890 centimeters long it's 230 centimeters wide 318 centimeters high five and a half ton basis 213 203 sorry centimeters of standing height four sitting and four sleeping places internal designs called pirate all of this stuff here i won't read it out but that is what comes as standard but the extras are here that 47k almost most expensive thing here twelve and a half thousand, and that's for the air suspension kit which takes it up to five and a half tons that's a chassis upgrade there's a seven thousand what's that that's electrical uh, equipment no it can't be it's a hydro, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, no, hang on just a minute, it's, it's this one here, yeah, yeah, the hy hydraulic uh, kit, and uh, anyway, I won't go through all of them, let's have a look inside, now this vehicle has what's called a bar layout, I don't know why, somebody told me once, it's because they, when they had their seat in this position, that was the bar, and it was meant to be a, like a sideboard with a bar in it, or something like that, uh, well, in these days, I think that'd be pretty handy to work from. I think that'd be super handy, actually, for somebody in a position like mine to work from. Because down here, there we've got uh, access to, got a plug there, and got the 12 volt uh, plug, and there's got the USB. So that would be that'd be quite nice. Just one plug, though, would for me be a little bit of a problem because I have to hard disk plus the computer. In the old days, we used to also have to uh, have separate plug for the screen as well. Anyway, now it doesn't look nice without that bed up front. Look at all the space it gives you. Mind you, 890 centimeters long, that is quite a lot. Another thing though, okay, 230 centimeters wide. It's 10 centimeters wider than my van. Most vans though are around 230 centimeters, but this seems to offer a huge amount of space. And I think that that is achieved by the high um, roof. I think, I might be wrong, that's just the way I'm looking at it. Anyway, queen bed at the back, and let's have a look under it. There you go. And under the bed, we have a chest of drawers. Which is quite dark, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, look, open this one as well. That one's not so big, but we'll see, might see why when we get to the garage. We might do, might not. Depends if the garage is open. Can't remember if the garage is open or not. More storage up here. And another point is this. I'm on the first step and I'm actually standing upright. There you go. So I, I think the access to the bed isn't too bad. Not certain why there should be a like this down here. Of course, if you're in bed, I suppose the whole thing would come forward. So, you, and that could down there be used as storage. Uh, heating via Aldi system, the uh, which is possibly the best system. Possibly, I might change my mind on that one sometime in the future. But I think it is. Uh, it's pretty good. One thing I personally like about. Frankia is that the the way they do their, their their furniture. I think that's particularly good. I think it's also nice to have uh, something like this away and actually see yourself as well. And uh, you know, to correct your tie before you you know your suit before you go onto the campsite. And if you're emptying your toilet, uh, taking it down to the dump, the last thing you want to do is have your tie out of place. It really just doesn't look right at all anyway that's my opinion i mean i'm sure that nobody uh, who watches this channel would have their tie out of place when dumping their sewage now here here is a this thing here comes across like this like this there you go and you can you can lock yourself out 
should you so desire. Of course, there'll be no riffraff sleeping up front, so you won't have to worry about them. But there are people who do like to close this even when they're sleeping by themselves. I was talking to a lady uh, who does a lot of traveling. Uh, she's been in a motorhome for 60 years, more than 60 years now, and uh, uh, not full time, I might add, but uh, it's just three months a year. And she says she really likes to have that there. She closes it off from whatever's going on up front. Uh, now, uh, you see how big the toilet and the bathroom is. I'll close this again if I can. Can I close it again? She can get an, you get an idea. Oh, one thing I didn't say, I forgot to say, I should say. Uh, the carpet's been put down to protect the floor in the trade fair. Within the double floor itself, there's extra storage. I'm not going to stop pulling the carpet up though and bothering people. So they've got this Dometic aircon, also will suck the uh, water vapour out of the vehicle. And you've got two uh, drainage holes either side, proper domestic size. And you've got all this space. Look how much space there's here. Look, let me see. And in fact, there's even more than that because I've just hit the uh, this thing. I have to find what they're called in English, paravan in Polish. But anyway, a huge amount of space in here. Okay, it's not it's perspex, I think, but uh, very, very, very nice. We'll open this one here back up again, and now. Here's the, the kitchen, comes with an oven, that's part of where your 47k is going, of options. And one of which is a hot plate, 3 on gas, and that's from Dometic. And oh, somebody's coming in here right now, so I shall move out and let him go ahead. But anyway, you've got all this storage down there as well. And um, you can store, store stuff under the chairs. And you saw the beginning of the bar layout. Now I'm not going to get in anybody's way because what's happening right now is they're setting the stands up, and these people, uh, I, are are working, and I'm just sort of enjoying myself uh, playing around with the with the uh, with the with the telephone uh, with the camera. Now a good sign here. Also look at this huge uh, garage here. I think it takes 450 kilos of weight in here you've got doors on either side and uh, this big one at the back as well does it have a microwave no it doesn't air conditioning you've seen that it does have that aircon of course uh, might work off hookup if you've got the electrical kit that this vehicle actually comes with So that, that uh, tour around this van was a bit more hurried, but then again, I don't really want to get into people's way as they're, they're working. So, uh, thanks very much for being here with me today and uh, watching this video, and I hope you found that of interest, and there's a lot more like this on this channel. So, all the best from Dusseldorf.